What's up everybody? Welcome to Mets with Gustin. I am Gustin Mapala. Let's get on with question 2 November 2022 Mets paper 1 grade 11. All right. As we continue with our series of dealing with past papers question by question year by year from 2020 D2 up until 2020 from question one up until the end of the paper we will also uh, continue also do paper two so if you're watching this video now please make sure that you watch the video after this one because after this one it will be november 2021 but it will still be question two as well just to see the similarities and how they ask questions and how to solve questions like this if you are faced with a question like this one on an exam so now we're dealing with the uh, 2.1 we'll also deal with 2.2 as well Okay, now it says that here, simplify without using the calculator. They have given us 2.1 and also 2.1.1 and also 2.1.2. Right, okay, now let's have a look at uh, this one here, 2.1.1. It does say, it does say 1 over 3 to the power of n minus 1. And then uh, multiply by 1 all over 3 to the power of n plus 1. Close bracket 1 over n. All right. Okay. So therefore, we know that according to the exponent rule, everything that is 1 over, it can also be written as minus of that as well. All right. Okay. So now we are going to come here and say, therefore, this will be equals to, if we take everything to the top here, we're going to say 3 is going to be minus you're going to see in bracket n minus one and therefore similar similar thing would apply to this one three it's also negative n plus one i know what you're asking yourself guys where is this coming from this is coming from where do i write it i'm going to write it here it's coming from this exponent rule of saying anything to the power of a minus let's say it was x minus m is also equal to one all over x to the power of m Okay, now I think that's not clear, but I, hope, but I hope you guys can understand and you do remember this rule of exponent to say anything that is the power of minus can also be written like this. Okay, so now here everything will also be to the power of 1 over n. Let's not forget the power of 1 over n right there. Okay, and then as we continue, we're going to go and multiply throughout with a negative is going to be 3 minus n plus 1 multiply by 3 to the power of minus n minus 1 everything has to be to the power of 1 over n all right great stuff so now we know from the exponent rule i'm gonna continue up here guys we know from the exponent rule that if you are multiplying right here we are multiplying the basis are the same we've got three we've got three therefore what do you do you add the exponent if you're multiplying the basis are the same you add the exponent all right so three uh, minus n to the power n plus one then you add with this also is just going to be minus n minus 1 all to the power of, let's not forget, 1 all over n. Right, so therefore here I can already see we have got um, uh, 3. Let's deal with the power. Minus n minus n is going to be minus 2n. Positive 1, negative 1. Therefore, this will cancel out is equal to 0. Therefore, also everything to the power of n. We know that if you are multiplying something to the power of something, it should multiply this. So it's going to be 2 minus 2n multiply by n to the power 1. Therefore, n would cancel n. Negative 2 times 1 is also go still going to be negative 2. Therefore, what you have here, you are going to have 3 to the power of negative 2, which also can be written as 1 all over 3 squared, which is 9 okay and that's how we would deal with a question like this one where you have to simplify this one is just a uh, straightforward where you are dealing with exponents now let's move on to question 2.1.2 question 2.1.2 we are given uh, different numbers there that we need to deal with them and we also have to simplify them all right great stuff so now uh, let me just write them here nicely it's cube root of 27 squared minus 2 all over 
8 to the power of minus 2 all over 3 plus 3 plus a uh, fifth root of 2 all over 4 to the power of negative 2 over 5 guys when it comes to this make sure that you really really focus on the basics and you watch a, our video that we've did on exponent lesson where we are explaining all the rules what to do when and how here we are simply focusing on uh, dealing with the question papers but i'll try to explain as much as i can as we move along all right good stuff so now uh, here what we have here we need to uh, solve what is inside uh, this 27 we need to simplify is and also the cube root as well okay so this 25 here is the say 27 rather is the same as 3 to the power of 3 but remember this 27 is 27 and then this has got a square there but also we have to remember that we've got a cube root the cube root is can also be written as 1 over to the power of 1 over 3 minus okay now i think here 2 we can't do anything with the 2 it's a constant we need to deal with the 8 8 can be written as 2 to the power of 3 but also you need to multiply by the power that is already there which is minus 2 all over 3 okay i think that's fair right uh, 2 plus 2 in this case can be written as 2 but to the power of uh, 1 over 5 because of that fifth root that is sitting there okay and therefore all over 4 can be written as 2 to the power of 2 as well multiply by minus 2 all over 5 okay if we take a look at our given equation and what we did here at the bottom so far so good no mistakes guys It'll nice and easy simple make sure that what you are writing is correct okay no rushing there's no need to rush here because you rush and then you end up doing something wrong and it end up being not right whereas if you take a time you do it right you get full marks simple as that okay all right let's see now what can we do here what we can do here now we can simplify this rather we can simplify this and say this this exponent here 2 if you multiply by 1 over 3 is going to be 2 over 3 okay you multiply this 2 let me just get a different color at least i think uh, when i explain it's going to be much easier to understand with a different color right let's go for green what I'm saying, guys, here, these powers here, this 2, if you multiply this 2 by 1 over 3, you should be able to get a, an answer of 2 over 3. But this 2 over 3, you need to multiply it also with this power. Remember, if you've got exponents and then there are anything to the power, the powers must multiply each other. All right. If, it's, if they are multiplying. All right. So, therefore, what you have here, you need to multiply this 3 by 2 over 3. So, 3 multiplied by 2 over 3 is going to say 3 and 3 would go out. Therefore, what you're going to be left with here, we are going to be left with, therefore, we're going to be left with 9. All right. Okay. So, I'm going to write it here. We're going to be left with, no, no, not 9. Rather, you're going to be left with, yeah, we are going to be left, yeah. Let me not say 9 because it's going to confuse you guys. Let me say you're going to be left with 3 to the power of 2 for now right so minus let's see here uh, 3 multiplied by negative 2 over th over 3 3 and 3 would cancel out you are left with 2 okay 2 is the 2 at the top here at the numerator therefore we are left with 2 to the power 2 to the power of negative 2 okay great stuff makes sense right plus uh this 2 to the power 1 over 5 gonna remain like that there's nothing we can do there but here we have got 2 multiplied by negative 2 to the power of uh, 1 over 5 so this one will give us a uh, 2 to the power of negative 4 over 5 right there you go great stuff so now now we got that out of the way so now let's continue here just gonna continue with the green guys so here we're gonna have nine and then here 
how are we going to deal with this one here remember also there's a rule of saying if the bases are the same and you are dividing you minus the exponent so now if we've got like something like this b all over b squared the bases are the same we are dividing we need to minus the exponent therefore this is going to be b one minus two right so same thing applies here. we've got two here which is two to the power of one so it's going to be two the bases are the same and we are dividing therefore we need to minus the x so it's going to be one minus into minus two great all right and then same thing applies here plus two one over five remember guys they said without the calculator so if you're gonna rush yourself here you are going to lose max okay so it's going to be minus into minus four over five minus into minus four over five therefore there you go so nine will remain as nine here what do we have we're gonna have minus a uh, one minus minus two is gonna be three so it's two to the power of three plus here this one we can solve this fraction all together so if you were to solve this fraction all together it's going to be one over five plus uh, four over five so which is going to be basically this will give us one therefore it's going to be two to the power of one now once we are here we can simplify nine minus eight plus two nine minus eight is going to give us one one plus two is going to give us uh, three and that would be our final answer it's three All right guys so i tried to be as slow as possible because i did receive a comment that when i explain i'm a bit faster and then uh, it makes it difficult for some of uh, you guys to follow as well so i try my best to keep them uh, straightforward and um, but explaining as much as i can as we continue all right now let's move on to 2.1 all right 2.1 it says, says uh, solve for x we need to solve for x here yeah? right let's go back to our original color right therefore we need to solve for x here we are given 3 to the power of 2 minus x plus 8 is equals to 3 to the power of x All right so to deal with this one here we just need to unpack our equation from the way it was before All right 3 it was initially to the power of 2 multiplied by 3 to the power of negative x before it became uh, like this it was like this right plus 8 is 8 is a constant there's nothing that we can do so i'm gonna leave it like this as 8 and then a 3 i'm gonna leave 3 as it is here there you go great stuff so now what i can do now what i can do now this now is as good as this now is as good as me writing this one as saying 9 all over 3 to the power of x plus 8. I'm going to take this uh, 3 to the power of x to this side of the equation sign is equal to 0. Therefore, I'm going to multiply everything so that I can remove this fraction here with 3 to the power of x. So, multiply everything with 3 to the power of x here. So, it would give us 9 plus 8 times 3 to the power of x minus 3 to the power of x multiplied by 3 to the power of x is equals to 0. Right. So, therefore, once you have it like this, we are going to have 9 there plus 8 multiplied by 3 to the power of x. The basis are the same here. We are multiplying. Therefore, what do we do? We add the exponent. Well done if you said that we oh, what is the pinning now all right uh, sorry about that guys uh what do you do here my pen was a bit faulty it was not writing so therefore we say three to the power of two x okay is equal to zero so now once we have something like this now what do we do we can write this in terms of um this looks like it's a quadratic equation, guys. I think there's an example like this one that we did when we're doing the lesson on exponent on solving for x. So what I can what I can do here now is to multiply by a negative throughout, right? So multiply by a negative, which is like negative one. Multiply therefore this negative times negative. This will be positive two x minus eight three x 
negative negative 9 is equal to 0 all right so once you once you reach this one guys some some i'm gonna show you two options ne? if you can do this straight away it's totally fine no problem okay so i'm just gonna write this one in black i'm gonna call it option one so i'm gonna say option one here guys this is option one for those who who can do it it's fine you can do it like this here what you can do here this you can say three x three to the power of x what are the two numbers when you multiply them together they give you nine so it's nine and one but when you add or subtract they give you this eight three x so now this is just the middle term so the middle term is negative so the bigger number will take that term and therefore here would be plus is equal to zero therefore what you have now on your answer is going to be three to the power of x is equal to negative one or three to the power of x is equal to nine okay definitely this one will be undefined not available i'm gonna write this one here three to the power of x is equal to nine and we know that nine can also be written as three to squared so therefore the bases are the same here therefore the exponent will therefore be equal okay great stuff so now let me show you option two if you can't do it like this guys you don't you are unable to see that this is a trinomial so this is what you can do here i'm gonna put it in green so what you can do here guys i'm just gonna say here option two what you can do on your equation let me just put the equation down as it is here yeah? because this is what you have currently i said this is a trinomial but if you can't see that is a trinomial how can you see that is a trinomial? as you can see here there's a two so if 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 let's say for an example let the lowest common here which is the the three x let it be equal to k Okay, so wherever the wherever we see a three x, we're gonna put a k here. So now let's come here and let's come here and do that. So now there's k here, but this k is squared. So I'm gonna say square minus eight, but there's just k here minus nine. Close. Therefore, we can say now this is a trinomial. I think we can see that because this is the same as saying x squared minus 8x minus 9. It's just the variable in this case is k. Alright, so don't be confused. We are using k. So we are going to come here and say k times k. When then our factors is 9 and 1 minus 9 plus 1 where k is equals to minus 1 or k is equals to nine so this one definitely we said we're gonna say yes yeah, substitute uh, k back into the equation we substitute k back so if we put k back here we're gonna have three x is equals to nine and we know that nine can be rewritten as three squared therefore the basis are the same here three and three therefore the exponent should be equal which is two okay and that's how you would do it as option two and that was also option one on the other hand all right guys so and that's how you would deal uh, with a, a question like this one on exponent where you have to solve for k for x and guys that was question two of november 2020 grade 11 mass paper one i am gustin mapala definitely let me see you on the next upload where we'll be doing question two of november 2021